What's up, guys? Sorry, I'm almost, whew, almost lost control of my Apple Car. There. This is um, this is an exclusive first look at the steering wheel. Um, your AirPods Max just kind of slide in. It's actually very ergonomic, man. I mean, is this real? Is this actually happening? Like, there are there are a few things that like you hear about since you're like seven. Like, I feel like like let's see when when we first heard about the Apple Car. I was I was 14 years old, I think, when the Apple Car rumors first started happening in, in 2014. 14 or 15, I was a child. It would be like if uh, YouTube said that they were gonna make a gaming console. You would kind of just be like, I mean, there's like a vague connection, but this still feels very wrong in nearly every conceivable way. And that's all it was for years. In fact, we got reports all the time that were talking about how it was doing really bad. <laughs> like there were times when the project, it's called Project Titan internally, was completely stalled. Apple literally gave up on it at certain points. So many people have been laid off on this team. So many people have been hired. And I think just recently the head of AI at Apple was promoted as the project lead which, I mean, if that doesn't tell you something about what they're planning to do with this product, I don't know what will. And forever, I was just like, yeah, okay, Apple Car. You know, I heard about this when I was basically 12 years old. Like, this is just never gonna happen. And like, just the idea, it, like, like we can joke about headphones or a phone or a new Mac with Apple's processors, but like, like a car on the road with an Apple logo that is for consumers. All right, here's the bombshell report that came out from Reuters, who by the way, is like a global news organization. I consider this the equivalent of like a New York Times publishing this report. Like they are putting their credibility on the line with this information. And my God, did they share some exciting stuff about this vehicle? I just really wasn't interested in the Apple car, but after hearing this, I am legitimately stoked to hear more about this via rumors for the next couple of years until it launches. Uh, so they start out this article by calling the battery tech, quote, end quote, next level. Obviously, the person that they're interviewing could be a bit of a fanboy if they're working for the company and familiar with the project. But that alone was like, okay, I'm, I want to click this article and hear a little bit more. The battery itself, because of course, <laughs> of course, the company that always talks about the environment, spoiler, they are going all electric. Thank God, by the way, if I would have heard that this is going to have a combustion engine, I would be pissed beyond belief. But we're good here because they describe the battery cell as being a monocell design, which has apparently never been done in the world. I you know I'm not going to get into the chemistry of batteries, but they are quite complex, more so than you would, you would think. They say it, quote, frees up space inside the battery pack by eliminating pouches and modules that hold battery materials. So it sounds like basically instead of having a bunch of cells they're somehow doing a singular cell design that adds more kilowatt capacity because you're freeing up space inside okay i'm interested okay this person listen i don't know which dreamer they picked up off the streets of la to to get these quotes because i was like this sounds kind of like a pr piece which makes me believe like maybe Maybe this is coming from Apple because they have an anonymous source on the record saying that they described the battery technology as quote, next level, like the first time you saw the iPhone. Yo, what? <laughs> like the first time, okay, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and buckle up for the rest of this report. Let me repeat that over time. The next level battery tech, like the first time you saw the iPhone. They are making a parallel between this battery tech and what it's going to do and this device that changed our, the way we work and act and sing and dance and work. I mean, it gave me a job. Let's be honest. They go in to talk about the self-driving functionality, which Apple has been working relentlessly on. This is like something that people have speculated maybe they just sell to another company or outsource, but let's be honest. When does Apple ever develop something that is for anybody but themselves? Never, never, it's because they don't do that. So this is gonna feature LiDAR sensors to guide the self-drive system, which is a direct contrast to Tesla, which exclusively uses cameras. Elon Musk does not believe in LiDAR. I find it kind of interesting that Apple's going the LiDAR route, but with augmented reality and considering that there's one of these on the iPhone 12 Pro, a LiDAR sensor, it's right here below the third ultra wide camera lens, they, uh, I mean, they're putting these LiDAR sensors out here for a release 
not too far in the future for this Apple car. So it's nearly 2021 at the time I record this. Reuters says that production is gonna start in 2024 at the earliest. This falls into line with reputable analyst Min Chi Ko, his timeline for the Apple car. But again, like this article has made this real because the one takeaway that I got from this on top of everything else was that they mentioned that Apple has decided to move on with this project. There were so many periods over the past, uh, what, six to eight years where Apple was like, we don't know, people got laid off, they switched up leadership constantly. It felt like tons of ex-Tesla people came to Apple and then left and then more came and left. And uh, Apple has apparently decided concretely internally that they are pursuing a consumer version of this not a concept not something to give to a couple investors is like a little like something that you and i will be able to buy as soon as 2024 reuters says it could slip till 2025 or later but i mean if the pandemic gets under control and apple engineers can start flying around the world again this car project with the battery tech inside and the self-driving sounds way closer than anyone was speculating or reporting on. This is a pretty big deal to me. So the time to Tesla comes when Elon Musk subtweets Tim Cook today. Big drama here on uh, on Twitter. Uh, in general, Elon gives his take to this report saying that like Tesla uses this uh, one type of battery cell that Apple's also experimenting with. And then, you know, they're like, he's like, you know, the monocell is impossible. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, keep in mind, this is, uh, you know, say what you will about Elon Musk. I'm not defending this individual. I'm also not celebrating him, but he does know a thing or two about electric cars. So I, I will give him this stage right now. Uh, he's saying it's impossible. Max voltage is a hundred times too low. Maybe they meant the cells bonded together, like what they're already doing. He was also basically just like, oh, Tesla, Tesla did it first. Cool, I drive a Tesla, I love my Tesla. I don't see myself switching unless this Apple car is just like insane. And then goes on to say during the darkest days of the Model 3 program, which is their entry level vehicle, he reached out to Tim Cook to discuss the possibility of Apple acquiring Tesla for one tenth of the current value. So Apple would have made tenfold on their investment. Hypothetically, obviously, they would have made a lot of different decisions, so you can't really say it would have been as valuable, but uh, or maybe more valuable or less valuable. And apparently Tim was like, sorry, man not into this. So this would have been probably 2016 to 2018 around that time frame. That was when uh, the quote unquote model three hell week and hell months were when uh, they didn't actually think that the car was going to ship. I find that really interesting though. Cause I'm like, yo, like regardless of like the car stuff or not, like the fact that Tim wouldn't even entertain Elon is a bit odd. Like they're both heads of highly successful tech companies. It seems like they would work. So to me, this explains why CarPlay is not and probably never will be inside of Tesla's and why we don't have any like car key integration on Tesla's because it doesn't seem like Apple cares about Tesla or what they're doing. Obviously, like the app is allowed and they're not going to uh, they're not going to take a negative stance on Tesla, but they certainly don't seem to have a very positive view of what Tesla is and does. Why? Because I think Apple thinks they're going to make something that's way better. And I think they've been working on something that's way better for a long time. Or we don't know. I'm just saying Apple thinks that they're working on something that's way better. I don't know. Like <laughs> somebody that owns a Tesla, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. It's going to be very hard to beat a Tesla Model 3 for value, performance, and efficiency. Not sure how this is going to work. Yet yeah, I'm excited for this because Apple does do a really good job with a lot of their products. I would be lying if I didn't say I was a bit concerned at the very least about this project though. Like it is one thing to build products of this size, AirPods Max, iPhone, MacBook, iMac. Look, I've got my, there's a corner of my iMac right here. That's a, a very different thing than building a vehicle that people ride in. I can just I'm not trying to put this out here to be like negative. I'm trying to be realistic. I just feel like if tech companies start making cars, people in cars get in accidents and attaching your brand that makes something very personal to all of us, a phone, and attaching that to a car, um, which is significantly has the propensity to be more deadly than a phone or headphones or a Mac, it seems like a big risk. It seems like a crazy risk. 
Uh, I mean, we don't see Microsoft making cars. We don't see Samsung making cars. The fact that this project has the go ahead, trust me, all these things that I've just brought up, Apple has thought about. So they clearly, if this project is going ahead, if they are sending it and it will be available for purchase in a couple of years, they are confident enough in this. I don't know how, I can't explain it yet, but I will certainly keep you updated. This is the secret car project that they've been working on, and it is gonna potentially be the Apple product of the decade. I mean, this on top of the augmented reality glasses, which are apparently coming in 2023-ish to 2022, maybe they'll ship a bit early. Those are all supposed to be wild, where they're augmenting your literal environment. They are gonna be physical glasses that you wear. I mean, Apple's got some wild products in the works that it seems like nobody else is really working on right now. And uh, I mean, we'll have to see if it works. All I can say is that I'm more skeptical of this car than I've been for any Apple product ever. What do you guys think? Are you feeling good? I'm looking forward to seeing what gets unveiled. Like this could potentially be a game changer, but I mean, the memes, the price, the way you charge this, it's gonna be lightning. Gonna be lightning on the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Drop a like if you did, hit subscribe for more, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. See you in my next video.